and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel tonight guys. We were looking today for a response. We were looking to hit back really after what we would saw on Thursday and I think what we've actually seen is another step back. I think if anything here, we've not gone forward today. We have very much gone on the back foot because we've lost the game. And it's a really disappointing loss. I think I'm sitting here right now, like probably many of you are, feeling flat because that's the performance that we saw tonight from Barca. We never really truly put the pressure on Cadiz. We never actually made them work for their points tonight. We handed them their goal and they never looked back. And Barca never really looked like coming back in this game. It's disappointment, and it's the worst possible start here to what's a massive week. We said before the game, three games we have in six days, and we started it with a massive loss. Let's discuss it. Because indeed, guys, coming into the game tonight, Xavi did make a few changes to the team. Memphis Depay did indeed come in, and he came in there down the middle. Aubameyang dropped to the bench. And I think that in itself was a little bit of a gamble. You know, we spoke about it before the game. Would it be Memphis? Would it be Luke de Jong? And I think looking at the way the game went, looking at the way the Cadiz defended very, very deep, I think Luke probably would have been the better option from the start. Memphis, nothing he did at all worked out. The runs simply weren't there in midfield. De Jong came back into the starter lineup, but I also think today he didn't have the impact that we would have all liked to have seen in this game, and Dest, of course, at right back came back in, but he also suffered late on, possibly another injury, which will be a concern to Xavi, and of course, inside the stadium, things were far from certain there either. I think we were looking again for a response from the crowd tonight after what we'd seen on Thursday, but I think that's why it was strange to me that the animation section, the section there you always see behind the goal, you know, making the noise, really putting in the effort, they actually decided you know what? We're not going to come. We are going to protest today. We're going to leave that section entirely empty. I think that's a really, really strange time. A game like today, an important one to actually stage your protests and stay away from the game. But I think the warning signs were there from Barca. We all knew that we were missing tonight. Gerard Piquet, Araujo, those are massive, massive losses at the heart of our defence. Garcia, Longley, I think that really filled any of us with huge confidence. And Cadiz, you could see they were looking to exploit that. They were not afraid tonight, actually. Even at the camp now, even up against a team like Barca, they were happy to go forward, really looking to go down that left-hand side of ours, they were exploiting that area, and you can see here the cutback, great chance, in that first half, could have easily been 1-0, Lucas Perez there, with an opening, he puts that one wide, but the warning signs were there, and Barca in this game for me, they never woke up, it was almost as though we were drifting through the game, thinking okay, in a minute we'll score, in a minute we'll get back on track, but it never happened, we just seemed to coast our way through, without ever really applying ourselves, and there was opportunities with Dembele, he was the one tonight for me, really trying to make things happen, but the end product wasn't there. Not just with him, but with any of the Barcelona players. You can see the one here, fantastic run that it was from Dembele, but at the end of it, if you don't score there, you can see De Jong, head in his hands. He wanted the pass square, he wanted that free pass that would have possibly led to the goal, and it was just a case of that today for Barca. Not really getting things right in the final third, not making the right decisions at the right times, and it was just so, so disappointing. I cannot stress that enough right now. The fact that actually, this was a big game for us. Look at the league table, you look at it results that have happened recently, we needed this win to get us back on track, to get the confidence running again in this team, and we have really taken a step back, and that is incredibly, incredibly frustrating, knowing what this team can do, and in the second half, I think as soon as Kiddy scored, that was it game over for me, because I think as soon as they scored, it gave them even more of a chance there to just sit back. We knew before the game, we said it, they are going to set up so deep, they are going to close down the spaces, they are going to make life incredibly frustrating and difficult for us, and what you don't want to do is give them a goal. You do not want to give them something to protect, and the worst part is... It wasn't even a goal that they had to really work hard for, that they had to find a way through our defence. It was a very simple here, ball into the area, deep cross that it was, you can see there, completely unmarked, and inside the area, look at the players, standing around, watching that ball come over. It lands there in between Eric Garcia, Longley, nobody's taking ownership, nobody's taking command of their area, trying to actually go and win that ball, try and clear that ball, we're all watching it happen. Tastegen does make a save, he gets an arm there, he gets in the way of it, but he cannot stop the goal. Cadiz have their lead this time through Lucas Perez, and like I say, at that point, 
we were in huge trouble. Buster, of course, after the goal went in, we did try and get that immediate response, you know, try and hit back straight away to sort of cancel out that goal from Cadiz. Good run here from Serginho Des lays it back there into De Jong. De Jong then puts it back to Dembele on the edge of the box. And again, we're taking up good positions. But it's a wild finish there, well, well wide of the post in the end. Dembele did have an effort later on, though, that was more on target there. Good effort from the edge of the area. This time it dips right in front of the goalkeeper. But you've also got to say tonight, what a performance it was from the Cadiz keeper. Really was fantastic in terms of his shot stopping. That always seems to be the case when keepers come up against Barca. They up their game. They really do find it within themselves to bring out a stunning performance. Eventually, Luke de Jong came on. Adama Traore came on. I thought Adama had a pretty good impact in the game. And actually, Luke very nearly made an immediate impact there. You can see it from the corner. And as soon as that ball comes in, you're thinking, go on then. As Luke rises for that, you're thinking, please, this is the moment. Get back in the game right here. He makes a connection with it. It is on target. Goalkeeper can't quite hold it. But it doesn't go in. And that is the story of the night from Barca. We had efforts there from long range from Eric Garcia. The late one, and probably the best chance of the game, fell to Aubameyang. Ball in there from Jordi Alba. Very close range volley. Again, you're thinking, OK, this is it. This is the chance, especially with plenty of added time to come. Get back in the game now. But it's another great save there. Aubameyang cannot score. And Barca could not find a way through. And I think if we're actually being brutally honest tonight, guys, and I think we should be, you would say, you know what? Cadiz could have scored more. Yes, they leave here with a 1-0 victory. Yes, we had a few chances here and there to maybe get back on the score sheet, but they could have easily added to their lead. Time and time again, they found space down that left side. They kept outpacing us. Whenever they were getting to the final third there, they were just getting away from Barca. We couldn't catch up to them again. There's a cut back there that could have easily, easily been 2-0. Tav Stegen made a good save, tipping one over the bar there. Again, that could have easily ended in a goal. And he was also called into action after a deflected cross very nearly surprised us all. So Cadiz also had plenty of chances. We were loose at the back. We were weak. We weren't really enforcing ourselves in any area of the field. And that means that at the end of the game and at the end of this match day, we are in some trouble and there is concern right now at Barca. We have to gather ourselves, we have to refocus, start again, because what we've been seeing recently, it's not the team that we are, it's not the team that we want to be, and if we want this top four finish, we have to step up. Because if you do indeed take a look at how the league table is currently looking right now and where this result leaves Barca in terms of that top four race, obviously we do stay here in second place right now. Sevilla losing to Real Madrid at the weekend, but... Look how tight that is there. Just a three-point gap between Betis in fifth and Barca in second. And let's not forget that on Thursday, we go away to Real Sociedad. Now, that is a massive, massive game, not only for us, but also for them. So that is certainly one that we are going to have to win. We have to win these games now because time is running out in our season. We cannot afford to just let it slip away. Think that, OK, Barca now have got nothing to play for because actually... You keep dropping points, you keep losing games, you keep dropping your guard, we're going to be in trouble. We have everything to play for. The players have to realise that. Xavi, I'm sure, does realise that. Because what we're seeing right now, and what we saw tonight, that is not Barca. And that is not the team that we can be. So please, guys, what I would really like from you in the comments down below is your honest assessment of what you saw tonight, you know, following on from Thursday, the disappointment that we saw in that game, and now again, losing. It's not something that we've been experiencing an awful lot recently, so I think when you have back-to-back -back losses, that is a real shock to the system. Of course, you want to keep our heads up. Of course, you want to say, you know what, we've got seven games to go. We are still in a good position. We've still got that game in hand. There are things that we can do to really better our position but we can't take that for granted. We can't just assume here that Barca are going to be fine. In order to be where we want to be, to secure the Champions League football that we have to have, we have to earn that. We have to step up and do much, much better than what we saw today. Let me know those thoughts down below, guys. I will, of course, see you soon with plenty more videos because we have massive games to come. Thank you indeed for watching even more so on a difficult night. But until next time, as always, Vishka, Elbasa. Oh.